Welcome to Jamaica. This place makes you feel like a princess. We're gonna try some local food. We're about to climb this waterfall. Right now, we're getting ready to go to a Jamaican party. Give it a go, don't waste your time. Cause you're running out. Give it a go and ask around. Only takes a try, yeah. Even if she tells you no, then at least you know. So, give it a go, give it a go. After almost getting stuck on the Azorian Islands, we had to adjust our travel plans. We might not make it out of here. Africa had already closed its borders and Europe was beginning to shut down. So we had to make some major adjustments to our travel plans. We flew back to Boston to regroup. In Boston, we got to play in the snow and then we flew to Florida to play in the sand. While we were playing, mom and dad were doing some serious travel planning. Upon some research, our parents realized that the Caribbean islands, Central and South America were mostly open. So we drove down to Miami and decided to take a flight to the island of Jamaica. Montego Bay, where we had to wait in a very long line for immigration. It seriously took us one hour to get out of there. When we left the airport, there were plenty of taxi drivers waiting. We're in Jamaica, we just got a taxi to take us to our hotel. We don't normally say this, but that taxi ride was so fun. The taxi driver put on some Jamaican music, and we were just jamming. When we arrived at the hotel, we had to sanitize our shoes and get our temperature checked. We could feel the hospitality right away. This place makes you feel like a princess. We were staying at the Hilton Rose Hall Resort and the resort was beautiful. Room tour. So when you come into this room, you have the bathroom, sink, toilet, shower, and two beds, a little Jamaican snack, banana chips, I think, with some kind of dips, and I think this is rum. This is Jamaican gold rum. <laughs> also, we can't forget about, I can't get this open. <laughs> the beautiful view. Although we don't play golf, we had a beautiful view of the golf course and the ocean. I think we're gonna like this place a lot. This resort had a full schedule of Jamaican inspired activities every single day. We just arrived at the resort and now we're gonna have some lunch and then head to the water park. <laughs> this resort has a water park and there's a water slide, so we're gonna go on it. We're gonna have so much fun. Despite our excitement, the water slide was closed for the night. Hopefully, we'll have better luck tomorrow. We still enjoyed playing in the pool, though. That evening, we got all dressed up for dinner, and we had these really cool Jamaican drinks. Mom's drink is called a Bob Marley, and we had mango smoothies. For dinner, we had Jamaican barbecue. This resort is an all-inclusive, so your food and drinks are included with your stay. While mom and dad waited for the food, we actually went out to the sand to play. Of course, we came right up when our food was ready. I have barbecue spare ribs with corn on the top and a potato. Buffalo wings with a potato. But the evening wasn't over yet. There was live music at the hotel. Everyone has these headphones and we're about to listen to music. The DJs are up there. It was essentially a big dance party with no big speakers and no loud music. Everybody had the music in their headphones. It must be kind of funny to watch us dance with no music. <laughs> We had a lot of fun at this dance party. The next morning, we woke up to beautiful sunny weather. We had breakfast and of course went straight to the pool. The pool areas at this resort were so fun. There were several water slides for kids and adults too if you want. Right now we're trying out the water slides and I had to take three water slides to get down here. Needless to say, we went up and down the water slides like a million times. We went again and again and again. <laughs> I want to go again. <laughs> 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 After playing.
Lane in the pool, we took a break to listen to a Jamaican history lesson. This is Patois. It's a little bit of English, Swahili, and French. After the lesson, we played a game of trivia. How many prime ministers, how many female prime minister has Jamaica had since we gained independence? One. One is the answer. We just got third place in trivia. Now it's time to play some Jamaican games. Number five and six. Number five and six. Yeah, I'm gonna move up to the gonna be going. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Four. Number six and number four. Yeah, I'm gonna keep moving, keep moving. And number two. Number four and number two. Number four and number three. Number four and number three. Oh my word. Number six and number number six. And number four is number two. And number five is across the finish line. Rory won first place in one of the games and won this handmade trophy. And especially on. Then we got to watch some live dancing. You can tell that dance is a big part of Jamaican culture. Next, we went back in the pool. The pool was a lot busier in the afternoon, and we happened to make a new friend. Hi, girls. <laughs> We're drinking a Jamaican lemonade. So right now we're getting ready to go to a Jamaican party. We're gonna try some local food. Come along. Mom's having oxtail and curry goat. This one has cinnamon on it, but it's good. I have jerk chicken, some corn, and some rice with some Jamaican lemonade. We got some more food to try. Aki and salsa, dumplings, and breadfruit. I'm gonna try the breadfruit. I don't think mom liked it. It tastes like bread. What does it taste like? It feels like bread mixed with lemon. Like the lemon peel thing. So does it taste like fruit at all? No. Now I'm gonna try the dumplings. It really looks good. Mmm. What does it taste like? Corn bread. Now I'm gonna try the aki and salt fish. Aki is a Jamaican fruit and salt fish is just cod. Let's try this. I'm a little bit scared. It kind of tastes like fish and scrambled eggs. We're headed to the party now. Every Saturday night, there is a big beach party at this resort. And we also got to buy some Jamaican shirts. Miss McNeese is going to be a fire in a couple hours. It's taller than just goes like, It's starting. Welcome to Jamaica. The party started with live music and then they brought out the DJs. The vibe team at the Hilton even taught us some Jamaican dances. running around like crazy people. <laughs> Jamaicans really know how to have fun. <laughs> now the party started. where we got to learn about all the Jamaican fruits. The resort grows a lot of its fruits and vegetables on the property. There were many fruits that we had never seen before. This looks good. <laughs> Sunflower seeds. Oh, it's nice. oh, oh wait, the aftertaste. <laughs> what is it? Peas. It's a pea? Yeah. 
this is like no, this is it. Oh, so this is the one they make and it looks like scrambled egg. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the tour was fascinating, but we would have never expected what happened next. I think he's going to climb this thing. The next thing we oh knew, there was a man climbing a palm tree to knock How down some coconuts. Once he got up there, he began throwing down coconuts for us to use as a drink. Then he climbed right back down without a ladder or anything. The Hilton staff used a machete to open the coconut so we could drink the coconut water inside. <laughs> uh. <laughs> now we're gonna drink the coconut juice. Mm, look! We were so excited to try the coconut water in these coconuts. That afternoon, we had some more pool time and some beach time too. The hill in Rose Hall also had a really nice sandy beach with calm waters that were perfect for kids. That evening, we had another amazing dinner that was also included in our stay. I ordered the rum pineapple chicken and Sage ordered butter noodles. Nice. After dinner, we went out to see what the entertainment was, and this guy put a huge snake around our neck. Sage was a little scared at first, but she was brave enough to try it. There were so many acts in this Jamaican circus, it was really fun. Over, a Jamaican dance team came out to perform. Okay. 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 Come here, come here. Okay, come on. Okay. We played some more Jamaican games. Seven, oh my. <laughs> Lorelai, guess what? You're in the lead. <laughs> that evening we had a very nice dinner at a very nice restaurant that was also included in our stay at the resort. This restaurant was actually off the hotel property. This is what the bus ride looked like on the way back. this resort we had an excursion planned. Today we're headed to Dunn's River Falls. It's a gushing waterfall in Ocho Rios. We're taking a taxi to the falls. The taxi ride from Montego Bay to Ocho Rios was about an hour and 20 minutes long. But it was totally worth it. 
When we arrived, Dad bought the tickets for the falls. When we entered, we realized there was a little water play area and we really enjoyed it. But we weren't here for the water park, we were here for the waterfall. We were here to climb up a massive waterfall. We're about to climb this waterfall. <laughs> when you get there, you have to hire a guide. The guides know all the ins and outs of the waterfall and can help you get up safely. That's the waterfall we're going to climb up. The water was a little bit cold at first, but once we got in, we got used to it. And we still have two water bottles to go. At this point, Dad wasn't too sure about what Mom had signed us up for. The guy told us exactly where to go to get up the waterfall. <laughs> there were some rough spots, and there was also some calm spots too. One of the fun parts was when the guy showed us a natural water slide. We're headed way up there. For the last part, we had to all hold hands to make sure we were safe getting up to the top. At the end of the tour, we tipped our guide and thanked him for our safe arrival at the top. <laughs> our trip to Duns River Falls was such an incredible adventure. It was challenging and exhilarating and such a fun thing to do as a family. The next day, we said our goodbyes to this beautiful resort. But we weren't done with Jamaica yet. We would be heading to Negril on the other side of the Jamaican island. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. Bye! Is this for real?